Yeah, it might be a little bit weird. I don't know. I do some weird things, but it makes things interesting, doesn't it? Okay, doing something a little bit weird today, again. It's January, and I'm gonna go do a Parks on the Air. Now, earlier it was nine degrees, and now it, the car says 17 degrees. It's really cold, so what I'm gonna do, and forgive me, I'm a little distracted, I'm gonna set up in the van. I have a heater back there, and I'll show you all my equipment. But we gotta go to a park, a state park. I'm gonna do Parks on the Air. I'm going to do a manual tuner this time, the MFJ manual tuner. I'm going to also use 90, 100 watts. I hope someone spots me up out there because... Oh, did I bring... There's my phone. <laughs> I have to bring your phone. Uh, that's how I do my logging. Uh, all right, guys, come with me, and we got to drive to the park. It's about 30 minutes away. FM and HD1, St. Louis, a radio.com station. Okay, I'm arriving here at the park, and it hasn't been that bad to get here, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Not too bad. This is the closest, closest Parks on the Air, official Parks on the Air park close to me. It's very big, it's got lots of hills. Here we go. Okay, so I found one of the highest spots here. I've operated here a few times. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my antenna right there and run the cable over here. I hope there's enough length, but the first thing to do is get the antenna set up. The first thing to do is get a coat on, because I'm already cold. Oh, there's no bathrooms in this park. Look at it though. It's actually very still. At least it's not windy. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bungee this here, raise it up, and tape this antenna, this long wire, Maybe I should bungee it first. These things are hard to make. There's, it's a lot harder to make them stand than you might think. You might think, oh, it's easy. Just put a stake in the ground or something. Well, the ground is frozen. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. That was very disappointing. I thought that would be easier than the tree. It was actually harder. Getting this thing to not do that or that or that was difficult. It also fell down on itself once. It was actually harder than throwing into a tree. I could have had a tree up by now with the water bottle. So. I'm a little disappointed, so what I've got is a cable here running to my van, straight up. Let's take a look at that. It's barely touching the tree. Got our cable running into the van where I'm going to operate. I'm going to sit and operate in the warmth of the van because I'm already cold. Okay, my idea is to... <laughs> It's really hard to frame this camera, by the way, but my idea is to sit in here with the heater and run. I'm using my MFJ tuner, which is manual tuner. Difference this time. This is charging my camera and anything that might go bad on me. Okay, so I had some big problems with that tower, the telescoping pole, so I decided it's easier just to throw this straight up into a tree. 29 feet Pactena, which is basically just nine to one unun into a cable. And I'm gonna be it's snowing now. Isn't that nice? It's actually kind of pretty, except my hands are freezing. I'm gonna turn my heater on. I'm gonna hunker down inside of here. Hope nobody thinks I'm suspicious. This giant wire hanging out of my car. <laughs> And then try to do parks on the air. So there's my setup for now. I'm gonna sit on that little orange thing, operate in here, turn on the heater. I've got the window cracked. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the setup. I haven't made a contact yet. I'm almost vertical over there. Um, beautiful, beautiful day. If you don't mind your hands being like this. Uh, pretty stealthy other than you can see the top. You know, someone inspects the car, they will see that. Uh, but I don't want to answer questions. I just want to do my thing and get out of here. Actually pretty warm in here. All right, I got my manual tuner here. Let's see if I can tune up. I got snow coming down, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be 
a lot of snow. So let's see if I can tune up. Dakota from Babbler State Park, Missouri. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ Poda, parks on the air, parks on the air, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ Poda, CQ Poda, parks on the air, parks on the air. CQ parks on the air, CQ parks on the air, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling CQ parks on the air, CQ parks on the air. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Yes, for SSTV, thank you. CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, November 9, Yankee Oscar calling, CQ Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, N9YO calling, CQ Parks on the Air. Okay guys, I'm um, getting a little worried. It's super hilly around here and that snow is starting to collect. So I don't want to go sliding around on these hills. So what I'm going to do is abandon the parks on the air and just try to get a CW contact. I'm on 7055 right now.
Okay, that was really cool. I am getting a little worried because the road is starting to kick up with a little snow. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do more. I don't feel real comfortable here. I think I'm going to start sliding around. He just told me to hunker down, and I'm sitting in a van in the freaking cold. I was actually pretty comfortable in there, um, except I was downhill, and so everything was like that. And my, my, my gear. As soon as I got a contact, just like that. But as soon as it, it kind of slid around, I was, I was like panicking, you know, trying to get it, trying to get it to work. Um, it hasn't started caking on yet, the snow. Um, but I got to get out of here because I'm in a really hilly area, and I had no idea. Uh, we we were supposed to get snow, and then it didn't come. And then guess guess what? Here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Amazing how quickly that snow came in and started covering. Okay, what I wanted to say, I forgot to say this was, I've been using that automatic antenna tuner with, I think it was from MFJ, with that Yezu 891, and it was not doing a great job. It was actually like 1.5 to 1, 1.4, and I saw the bar didn't go all the way down. I'm like, man, I was disappointed with it. So I grabbed that MFJ back there. I already bought this. It was a, it's called a portable antenna tuner, and it's a manual tuner. I actually like it a lot better because I can really dial in, and that SWR just drops to zero, like one to one. I really like it. That's why I, I've decided to switch to manual tuners because I, I don't like an, uh, automatic antenna tuners that much. They just don't do that good a job. But when you can adjust and you see that SWR just drop, and then I got a 599 signal report here and here, you know, just out of the blue. Uh, I'm really happy with it. So anyway, I'm moving over to manual tuners because they're just doing a better job. <laughs>